hello welcome to your mathematics class this is your online teacher and we are looking at our week one work on mathematics for basic four are you in basic four are you in basic four if you're in basic four pay close attention i'm talking to you our topic is on whole numbers our topic is on whole numbers so now previously we talked about counting and writing numbers in millions and in thousands in thousands and in millions and you all did exceptionally well in that area which is why we are listening to this particular video right now because if you didn't do well you shouldn't be listening to this you should be listening to the previous one till you perfect on it so now numbers are grouped numbers are grouped we have the ones the tens we also have the teens before the tens we have the hundreds the multiple on the multiples we have hundreds thousands million billion trillion till infinity so but we will stop at trillion in introducing them to you but remember our main focus is on thousands and millions so now when i talk about the teens i'm talking about the 11 12 13 14 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And I know, I know that you all can spell these numbers. You're in basic four. You should be perfect on this. I just highlighted these ones right here for a reference purpose and not for you to study. You should be above this. If you don't know how to spell this very well, hit basic one. Hit basic one, not basic two, not basic three basic one that's where they're learning to spell this hit there go there on a short vacation for some hours during their mathematics period to learn this then when you're done learning it you can come back and you should study so if since i believe that it is true that you all have perfected on the spelling of numbers so now let's look at how we spell numbers numbers given to us in large quantity they said given right in words this number seven two three four zero nine eight forget that I've put the commas because previously we learned about separating numbers by periods using commas so that we'll be able to read them because once you can read a number you can spell it and once you are able to separate the periods you can read the number and I say a period is made up of three digits once you're given more than three digits numbers from four digits upwards you start separating periods so that you can count them so now let's avoid all these numbers and start from four four comma zero nine eight when there is one comma and there is the existence of only one period what do we call the comma thousand that is four thousand and ninety eight there is no hundred that is why the um, number representing hundred is zero zero is nothing but it should be there signifying that there is nothing for a hundred do you understand do you understand good as long as you have skipped a particular value and extended to the um, upper value when you are writing a number that particular value be it units times hundreds thousands tens of thousands um, hundreds of thousands million tens of million hundreds of million you should represent them with what zero which is what we did here so that we can read the number perfectly good so now we're reading as seven there are two commas meaning two periods 
seven million two hundred and thirty four thousand and ninety eight plus we spell seven million seven as you spell the number seven million two hundred and thirty four thousand two hundred and thirty four thousand and ninety eight and ninety eight do you see it and so, so you're given to writing figures thirty million fifty six thousand nine hundred and three I repeat thirty million fifty six thousand nine hundred and three so now what do you do you can use your abacus or don't if you don't want to use your abacus you can use that table I used to teach you your number table up from to give right in your to represent each digit by their value so that you will know where zero goes and where the other numbers go. so now 30 million you write 30 and put the comma for million 56 thousand remember there is no hundred for the thousand you have hundreds of thousands tens of thousands and units of thousands but hundreds of thousands are missing that's why we have zero here for hundreds of thousands 56 thousand no hundred I mean there was a hundred that 200 or 156 will be having one here but since there is no hundred we are having zero here five six thousand nine hundred and three nine hundred and three absence of tens gives the zero here do you understand you can replay this video to understand better let's look at our exercise Now these are your exercises. You are asked to write in words. Write these numbers in words. If you can read them, you can pronounce them, you can spell them. Have a nice day and stay educated.